Hi everybody, uh, today we're making a video actually about my scooters. I got two of them actually. Uh, this one I got my first, actually, I, I believe it's the second scooter. First, the first, first one I got this one. But anyway, this is made by Curie. It's a 300 watt brushless motor. And it's a pretty good scooter actually. I'm not sure when, when it's manufactured. I bought already used one. And uh, I own it for uh, last three years. Pretty much I put probably a little over a couple thousand miles on that one. Replaced the rear tires, probably I should say three, four times. Uh, probably more than that actually. Anyway, uh, in my case, I, I, mean, I really enjoy it riding a scooter. I mean, right now it's October, end of October. And we are in Alaska. I mean, we, we don't have snow yet, but I really like my scooters. I ride it pretty much dry it all seasons. And uh, that one, of course, in the winter time, there's no way you can ride. I mean, the tires is pretty skinny. And I mean, summertime, springtime, fall time, uh, it's capable. I mean, I added a front, front uh, uh, fender. And also, the rear fender I did extend it. Uh, but got probably like three and a half inches or so. It, it runs pretty good. I put the headlight, uh, speedometer, bell, uh, the seat, and the shopping basket already come with original package and actually right now it's an original configuration it's run on a 24 volts uh, sealed lead acid battery kind of crappy before i was riding uh, running that scooter on uh, lithium islands and i tried on 24 volts which is doing 16 miles then i upgraded and one thing it's good about uh, curie electri electronics it's usually pretty durable and that's like i said a brushless uh, 30, uh, 300 watt motor I, uh, last couple of seasons I was running for 32 volts. It handles very well. Top speed uh, in a 20 mile uh, limit, well, 20, 21. From downhill, probably you can do 25. And actually, but still 300 watt, kind of under power. I mean, especially when I'm riding with my uh, son or daughter. Because I can control 300 watts in the rain. Itself with the radio, probably 175 or so. Actually, let me spin it a little bit, yeah, you guys can see how fast it goes. One thing I like about scooters, I mean, I don't like it when it's really under power when you have to push it. This one, another one, it runs, actually, you can take off without any push. It's not fast. running uh, 14.7 close to 15 miles it was not quite 15 and I didn't run I mean too far uh, to reach it full speed anyway like I said it's pretty good it's good to run at, uh, this season when it starts I decided well let me get a better scooter more powerful and that's what I got uh, I believe it's a German brand Uber scooter we call Uber or Uber I believe it's a Uber I'm not sure if, if I got the right pronunciation. It's a CT800. It's a brushless also, 36 volt uh, hub motor, 800 watt, which in a horsepower rating is, I believe, it's like 1.1 horses. And another, actually, before I, I mean, uh, I run it. Let me tell you what I did so far. Put a speedometer, uh, calibrated with GPS, uh, ring bell, make sure it's loud. It uh, originally come with a headlight and that, that's a switch on off tail light actually. Let me turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much you can see it on. And uh, I mean, all around it's pretty good scooter. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's almost like a four season scooter. Uh, nice fat tires. I can ride it in the snow if, if I want it. Of course, here in Alaska, we got pretty, pretty cold. You can freeze your butt. To, to a popsicle condition, most likely. But, I mean, if you are really in the extreme side, you, you can ride it. I mean, and actually, this winter when it's come, I'd like to try it and see how it handles. Uh, one thing I did recognize is when I'm running in a rainy condition or when uh, road is uh, bad, 
actually the rear fender originally it's that far it still throws some dirt on your car that's why it did uh, extend it a little bit and actually make a really nice shape it's uh, almost uh, it's probably a three inch extender but works really nice i tried the other day when it was uh, kind of wet really wet crappy road it's it's really good it has a uh, disc brakes you know, front and back it has a full, sus full, full suspension uh, which actually is not really hydraulic suspension it's kind of cheesy uh, basic uh, coil spring but it's okay the front one actually is not even adjustable but one thing I mean, you can see is it's plus that the way it's been collapsible I and mean, with the front column it's also a, it has a spring tension anyway uh, Originally it was uh, 36 volt, 3 lit acid battery and I upgraded with lithium ion uh, and original one was 9 amp, 36 volt now I got 20 amp, 36 volt uh, lithium ion which lasts me in a 20 mile uh, range uh, distance which is pretty good actually and it runs in a 22, uh, 23 mile let me take it for spin and you can see and also like I said it's kind of powerful and if you uh, when you take off if you lean it back it it, 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 it can pop wheel or front wheel Actually, the disc brakes work so good, you can stop, stop on a dime. One thing, the speed control, the way they program it, and it's not reprogrammable, pretty much what, what, you, what you got is uh, what, you, what you bought is what you get. It kind of sucks when, when you take off, it, it's, still, it's, still, it's still producing pretty good. But because the hub sensor motor, it reads RPMs before applying, it actually even if you twist the throttle, but it, it's still kind of kind of reads what's RPM and then kicks in. If you want to cheat it, that function, you just squeeze the brake slightly and then accelerate it, and it's gonna show you. It much much harder. If you lean it backward, you know, slightly. It, it, it's still it's still with me with uh, 250 pounds <laughs> it can pop really anyway well i hope you guys like it and uh, if you have any comments idea uh, leave it i will appreciate it like it or hate it thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you guys decided thanks bye bye